Story time. It is story, story, story time. Yippee! It's time for a new story. Everyone's ready. One, two, three. The title of the story is How Does the Toothpaste Get into the Tube? Author Veena Prasad. Illustrator Rajiv The year was 1870 New London Connecticut United States 7 a.m Kids were tumbling out of the bed their mothers hurrying them to clean their teeth handing them tooth sticks and jars of toothpaste What What did I just say tooth sticks yes that's right they used tooth sticks to clean their teeth back in 1870 a tooth stick was simply a twig with frayed end some lucky kids had twigs with boar hair tied to one end for that extra shine and what what was that the other thing i said jars of toothpaste that's right toothpaste tubes were not invented yet they only had jars and every blurry eyed kid started her day by dipping a tooth stick into a porcelain jar filled with toothpaste actually into the same porcelain jar that every other member of the family dipped their tooth stick into including that visiting grand aunt with yellow and black teeth whose tooth stick matched her teeth one morning a disgusted cry went up in a dentist's house it was dr sheffield's son lucius who refused to dip into the jar any more decided to use tooth powder henceforth but a thought remained in his mind there must be a better way to use toothpaste a few years later lucius went to paris to study the science of dentistry there he saw artists squeezing paint from metal tubes onto their paint brushes why couldn't the same type of tube be used to hold toothpaste he rushed back home and shared this idea with his father who thought that it was just totally awesome there was just that little matter of figuring out how to get the toothpaste from a jar into the tube through that little opening how do you think lucius could fill toothpaste into an empty tube have you had a bad morning when you squeezed way too much paste in your half asleep state and you see that there is toothpaste all over the sink and your mother is reminding you that the school bus will be at the doorstep in 20 minutes and the last thing you want is for her to flip when she sees the mess you have made how would you go about putting the toothpaste back into the tube now what do you think lucius and his father used to fill a tube with toothpaste a earbud or a really tiny spoon or a toothpick hmm it was not as messy as you would expect because the way dr sheffield and his team did it was without opening the cap that's right they kept the cap screwed on tight and opened up the other end it is definitely easier to fill a tube from the larger end especially if you have something to pump the paste with like a syringe after that All you have to do is seal the end tight so that the paste will not leak. Today toothpaste tubes are filled using machines. All the empty tubes are lined up on a conveyor belt with their caps downwards and the unsealed end pointing up. A big container filled with toothpaste is fixed above the conveyor belt. 
From a nozzle at the bottom of the container, the toothpaste is let into each of these tubes as they move along the conveyor belt. But the paste is not filled all the way to the brim. About half an inch is left so that it can be sealed. Now the tube is ready to be squeezed. Okay, now we have got how the toothpaste enter into the tube. But can we see some more information about ancient Indian wisdom for good teeth? Many people in India use datun, a twig of a neem or bubble tree instead of a factory made brush. Datun keeps teeth and gums healthy. But do you know which the best brush in the world is? Your fingers, say dentist. Great for the teeth and gums. Have you tried tooth powder? What are the different smells that you can detect in it? Herbs and spices that are good for teeth include mint, clove, cinnamon, black pepper and tulsi. Eating fibrous Fibrous fruits and vegetables like apples and carrots is good for cleaning teeth. Wow! That was fun, right? Do you want to hear more stories like this? Yes! Then log on to www.booksthatspeak.com Eruvavi! Eruvavi!